Good Wednesday morning, my YouTube friends and family, the do-it-yourselfers, the getter doneers, the DIYers, all that kind of stuff. I've been to Walmart to get some. Uh, they've started carrying these locks, so I'm gonna try them. I had one go bad yesterday. Bought some just supplies. I'll get you caught up. So we're taking the lock off of this door, which is where you got that lock there, over there. That lock right there get it on camera because i have that lock on another house that type of lock it went bad yesterday we had to drill it out to get in the house there's nobody here in town that has those type of locks right there so i'm taking the lock off of this door we're going to move it over to that house putting a different lock on this door it's just a, a crazy deal this door has a deadbolt on it the other door does not so we're having to switch them out so i can get that house a working lock we got that lock off that one changed out that was a new lock that i've never used before so it's come from walmart a little different on getting it put in and whatnot so i'm headed over here to this house to put the lock that came off of that door onto this door just a typical way a day goes sometimes in this property uh, the girl called me yesterday afternoon she was like david i can't get in my house the lock won't work i can hear it undoing inside but it's not working and i've been having some trouble out of different ones of those uh electronic door locks okay. i got that lock changed i had to use that key right there to change the door handles around because they were on the wrong side for that lock. I got the new number programmed in it. This installation driver here, that is my new go-to. Uh, that stays with me all the time. Man, that thing is handy, handy. Uh, you just got your different heads for different things, drill bits. I got drill bits, all kinds of uh, bits with me. And having that, uh, just got a little 3.0 battery on it. It lasts all I ever need. I'm headed to the job site where the guys are. Where's that drill? Is it still on the I put it in the, in the back seat of your big truck. So here's what we're working on guys. You can see the how bad the metal got in bad shape right here. So they're gonna be cutting this right here. And we're hoping the little tin screws, little sheet metal screws, we can screw it into that metal that's there. And then I'm gonna come back in, bring we're gonna bring loads of gravel up here and then gravel all this up to it. Now there's kind of what it looks like right there. Did you cut it with that saw? I was started to, and it went to ch splintering it. The Milwaukee, little Milwaukee saw? Yeah. So I s dropped back and grabbed this, and that's what I'm using. Did it work that pretty good? Can, yeah, that way I can get a pretty good straight on it, get a good mark on it. All right. Kind of make it work to do that. I had to run and get them some sheet metal screws like this to screw into that old metal that's there. While I was there, I picked them up. Some of those. Shoot, yeah, that looks good right there. I can't believe that. When I take the saws off, cut those four pipes off, I have nothing going on top of them. You got a saws all we? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'd cut them off. We don't need them. That's the old. This all's new right here. This thing can be cut off too. That way I can just have one notch in this and not have to. Yeah, I'd just put a. I'd just put a U in it. Put it up under it. Yeah. But yeah, you can cut them out. I'm going to turn this blade around on this saw right here and see if I won't cut it. Like if you're cutting metal. Right, we got the blade turned around on this little M12 fuel. Put a six amp hour battery in it. See if it does a better job.
That or sawzall? Which you which you like better? I prefer the oscillate. I mean the oscillate too. That's what I prefer. The only reason is because of these ridges. Yeah. It does this a little bit. Alright. But that's the only but as far as cutting through it, it doesn't it cuts, clean cut. Yeah, it cuts through it good, but you like I like being able to have more control on okay. the plate. You know All right. what I'm saying? Yep. See I'll show you what I'm talking about. That's fine. When you get ready to cut another one, we'll video it. I gotta cut this off. All right, do let's now. do it right so now. Here he is using the multi-tool. And you got a metal blade in it. So what we got, instead of a wood blade, we got a metal blade in it. What did you say we were yesterday? The, the, the Jared... Jerry man and the... Uh, my feet hurt. Guys. My feet hurt, guys. <laughs> he said if he started the band, he was, he was going to be the Jerry man and the feet hurt, guys. I have to have my feet hurt, guys. Jeff and I's feet hurt all... Yeah, look. Our, Jeff and I's feet hurt all the time. <laughs> So, my iron, my iron deficiency is real low. <laughs> Your iron deficiency? <laughs> Need that Geritol? Geritol, gotta have it. This is the blue star phone I bought. So we're cutting it to fit in those holes. Like this right here. Tim's trimming this out right here. To fit in that hole. Just to give it a little insulation for the winter. Here in South Central Kentucky, we don't typically have like real harsh winters but we do from time to time get we might run a week or two that we might get down in the teens or single digits but it's it's not real often but still you gotta prepare for those times there you see him fitting it up there i know the sun is casting shadows well he's cutting another one There's that installation driver. You can see it's on the job. It's on every job. Looks really good. Really good. So here is this side. The sunlight may cast such a shadow on it you can't see it, I don't know, but looks really good. And then we get it graveled down. Been crazy. Well, I'm leaving them guys up there to take care of that. I've got some business stuff to do on the other end of it that I've been trying to do ever since eight o'clock this morning. It's 12, 16 right now. I haven't been to lunch. I haven't even eaten anything. Probably won't be going to lunch. I don't have a clue what I'm doing, but just run, run, run. So this is going to end what we got going on rental property wise that so i'll see you in the morning y'all have a good evening well guys i picked up kind of a head cold being out in that wind and such and so the video you watched was filmed on wednesday i had all intentions of being back up there on thursday when they finished the job up and i didn't make it so i hope you've enjoyed uh, the videos i've been trying to shoot kind of a series of videos just to give you a look into what we do every day, show you the tools we're using on the job. One of the things that I think is a little bit different about my tools and uh, you know, when I could do a new tool Tuesday or something like that is we're actually using the tools on the job. So if something happens to them, you'll know about it. So guys, I thank you for watching. Y'all have a blessed evening. Y'all have a great weekend. I'll see you another day.